Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new radial menu for iClone 8.5 that allows you to quickly apply single or continuous motions in sequence to an actor while interacting with motion director props. This menu is available for both actors and MD props in your scene. Let's start off by introducing the radial menu. This scene contains an actor with an IMD along with several MD props to interact with. Hovering over an MD prop will highlight it and clicking will activate the radial menu. The same goes for our actor, with the menu items dependent on its loaded IMD. You can use the numerical hotkeys to activate each action and use the back button or the backspace hotkey to navigate up levels. If I click the phone action, the actor will perform that motion and it will also appear on the action list, which we'll explore more shortly. Clicking on the actor while he's still performing the phone motion will bring up a connected menu with actions that can be used when the phone motion is still looping, like message. To quit that motion, Click on the X in the Action menu or Exit Motions by using Leave in the Radial menu. You can also apply certain actions on an actor in motion. Alt and left click will move your actor to a destination which will also bring up a pause option in the top right, which you can click or use the tilde hotkey. Once paused, the radial menu will appear with a selection of motions that you can use in combination with your actor's movement. Note that pause playback here will not affect the recorded motion. The radial menu can also be used for prop interaction. Here I'm selecting a drink from the radial menu of the vending machine and then using a connected buy action. Once the actor has completed the buy action, since he now has a beverage in hand, you'll see some new context dependent actions in the radial menu. The top level will have character and beverage. The character actions are ones that can still be performed with beverage in hand and under Beverage, you'll find specialized actions for that prop. With Beverage in hand, you can still interact with other MD props as well. For example, sitting on this bench. You'll still have Character and Beverage options in your radial menu, which you can use in a seated position, along with a sit on chair item, which contains a stand action. Okay, let's look at arranging continuous motions next in this scene with multiple MD props. Upon pausing, we'll see the radial menus for all of the MD props along with the actor appear. If we hold the control key, we can add multiple actions to the action list sequentially with future actions appearing above the first one. You can collapse the action list as well. Let's add a few to our action list queue and then hit play. Note that you can still pause and activate the radial menu at any time throughout play and add additional actions to the action list. After all actions have been played out, you can find the data under Macro Data in the MD Controls window. For an overview of the available actions in your currently loaded IMD, you can open up the MD Triggers window. Note how these correspond to the actions in the radial menu. You'll also find some additional options for your radial menu in the Motion Director section of your Preferences, including the size of the radial menu itself. Let's move on to using the radial menu with multiple actors simultaneously. Your currently enabled actor will be indicated by a green circle, which you can toggle from the drop down menu in the MD Controls window with the Mark Main Character option. You can select the active actor by clicking on them in the viewport, or also using the green camera icon in the MD Controls panel.
Next, I'm going to apply a number of different actions to each different actor in sequence. Again, be sure to select the other actors before clicking on their target MD prop to apply the action. When dealing with multiple actors, you'll likely find the pause function quite useful, unless you're pretty confident with your mouse speed and accuracy. Here I'm applying a couple of actions to each actor. Notice that each actor also has their own context-dependent action list once they are selected. This allows you to load up multiple sequential actions for each actor and play them back simultaneously. Depending on your scenario, you may want to stagger the beginning of these actions using the combination of the pause function and radio menu that we've shown here, so things look a bit more random and natural. Once all of the motions have played out, then you can save each motion sequence in the timeline or simply render it out. You can learn more about this in our Getting Started tutorial for MD Props. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.